as I reflect back on my day, I'm like, wow, I have had a very amazing, awesomely blessed day. Was it what I had written down on my plan of what I was going to accomplish today? Did I hit my schedule and my guidelines? No. Did I read far more than I would have if I would have stayed stuck to what I thought was on my plans for today and how I thought my day should look? I received the biggest blessing. I got to spend time with an amazing mom, with her young ones, with her little baby. And I got to love one. I got to love on this precious human being, see the laughter, the giggles, and the snuggles. Um, and even a little bit of the will and temper, <laughs> which is awesome because we are all created in God's image. And it's, he's passionate, and that is an amazing thing. But you know what? I was able to have this time. I was blessed with this time an opportunity to get to have conversation and for us to share our hearts and our our um, experiences. And um, it totally, totally energized me and just gave me, uh, my heart was just, it's, it's even stealthful, which is good because I needed the energy and the fullness to get home on my drive. I had a, a six-hour drive, and I'm running a little low on sleep. But I'm sitting here reflecting, and I'm, like, so grateful. How I could have missed that opportunity because I was locked into, I need to get this, 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 and this done by this time so I can be on the road heading out this way, and I'm going to go this direction on this route so that I can arrive here at this time, so that I can do this, so that I can be here at this time, so that I can get home, so that I can plan to be ready for tomorrow. I would have missed out on the jewels and the blessing and actually the energy. I probably would have had to have taken a, dr a nap on my drive home if I hadn't have had my spirit fed by communing and fellowshipping with this young mom. And I... I'm ever grateful, and I will be forever blessed, and I will look for more opportunities like this to not only speak into and bless my own life, but to be able to speak into and encourage and bless someone else's too. So what have you done or participated in or done to help someone else? That has fed your spirit, but has also uplifted and fed theirs too. I would adore hearing your comments and your experiences um, in the comments below, I am Michelle Wint, and I'm very passionate about standing the gap from where you are to where you can and want to be. Be blessed.